so I had to talk to that guy for a little bit uh, so I, I just stopped the camera and hopefully I was able to splice this together without too much hassle but he was able to tell me he lives not too far away and uh, he said that this road here on the west side of the property uh, does go way back here oh now I just ran over a tree let's see if we can't go around that but he said this goes way back and that this this does have a really good road system so let's have a look and we'll see so far it looks amazing I had basically only seen maps of this property um, so I, I was aware that there was a nice ridge here along the west side and that there was supposed to be a road and I already saw a road go off to the right uh, but this is the oh wow look at that view off to the to the west oh, that's beautiful get a photo of that so yeah like I was saying I'm gonna turn the air on because it got a little warm here <laughs> like I was saying this would be something that normally uh, we would buy and we would uh, probably grade these roads and split this up into smaller tracts and sell them off but we just ended up getting a lot of projects on our plate right now and so uh, came to the conclusion that you know maybe someone would really like to have a tract this big I mean it's just really hard to find a property this large uh, for a private hunting tract you know unless you're in the close to a million dollar range but with this being uh, uh, logged um, I was actually told it was about four or five years ago it was logged um, you're not paying for a, a lot of that commercial timber which you may or may not ever have a need for um, so this is this is going to be cheaper than something with big commercial timber on it and this road clearly has not been graded probably for years so bring your pickup truck or your SUV that has some clearance, but keep in mind you may get a couple scratches because some of these uh, smaller trees grow pretty quickly and if they start to encroach upon the roadway they can scratch your, your clear coat on your vehicle. Um, but I mean, if this were graded, this would be a really solid road. This is fantastic, actually. Now this cut, oh, it goes straight and it cuts off to the right. And I'm gonna go off to the right. Uh, because it looked like it might be a little better. This might be an ideal building site right here. It's at the end of that road. Looks like it needs to be mowed and there are probably a few stumps in there. We shear the stumps off with the tree shear on the Bobcat. Um, you probably don't want to buy one because they're insanely expensive for what they are, but you can rent them too. Or you can have someone come in and grind the stumps. I mean, there's a whole uh, whole field of research about how you can best get rid of stumps. We like to cut them with a tree shear. Okay. Now we've just, we're, obviously we're on the property and we've got a fork in the road here. Um, but looking at this existing road system, I mean, wow, for a private hunting camp without having to put 30 or 40 grand worth of dozer work in to create your own trails, <laughs> this is unbelievable. There's a tree down right here, uh, but I'll just walk a little bit anyway. So yeah, well, we have several trees down, which indicates that this hasn't been used in several years. Uh, but yeah, if we didn't have so many projects going on right now, this is this is just tailor-made for what we do to split up into smaller tracts. In fact, this is much better than we usually have. Usually we have to put in the roads 
And that is a, an expensive, time-consuming proposition, let me tell you. So come explore this one. You're going to have a really hard time finding this much acreage for this kind of price um, in this area. The Ozarks are beautiful. The hunting's great. The people are friendly. You're going to have power and phone close by. This has actual county road frontage. So, I, yeah, you don't have to think that you have to uh, build way back here. You could clear a spot a couple hundred feet off the county road and build, and you'll still be fairly private. That looks like an old pond right there. Or the dam of an old pond. It's full of trees, so I, I'm going to guess it hasn't been used as a pond for a few decades. This is a great trail. I mean, this trail system... This is blowing my mind to find this on the property. A day with a tractor and a brush hog, and this is going to look fantastic. I mean, these trails are just super nice. Nice property. If you've been looking for a big one, This is extremely private, but still only five minutes out of Birch Tree. Hour and a half out of Springfield. Probably three hours from St. Louis, I would guess. This is a good setup. That's the large acreage in Shannon County, Missouri. About five, five miles north of Birch Tree. I can't get enough of this property. I, I kind of want to stay here. Oh, except it's starting to rain, so I'll cut it off.